Okay, so we're going to be introducing a series of videos to describe the brand new enterprise class reader, the ALR F800 from Alien Technology. This is a brand new discrete design, so it's not based on uh, any chipsets, it's completely based on Alien intellectual property. So this is a brand new ground up design, completely unique to Alien, with Alien advantages built into this. Uh, what we have really done, we've enhanced everything. We've uh, taken a look at uh, performance, we've taken a look at features, I.O., the way people use their I.O., particularly ease of use, and we've uh, taken a look at even the chassis and made the chassis uh, more robust and uh, easier to install. And finally, we're introducing Alien Actuate, which is a brand new web interface, which makes the whole device easier to use and install from a software perspective. The F800 is uh, pretty unique. Um, it is, uh, we have the self-optimizing capability, uh, which in real time it will dynamically, what we call smart throttle, so it will actually monitor the environment and change the behavior of the reader in terms of read rates and read quality based on the environment. And it will do so much more effectively than many of our competitors that go into a very conservative, uh, slow read rate mode. Uh, we have the industry's highest power over Ethernet source transmit power. Uh, it's also power source agnostic, so it will actually supply that reader power regardless of whether the source of power to the reader is DC or power over Ethernet. Uh, we've also taken a look at making it very extensible and made, tried to make it obsolescence proof as possible. So, for example, we have uh, USB built into the, the reader as well as micro SD, so plenty of expansion capabilities. And we've also tried to do this in a way which is very cost effective for our customers. And I, I think what we are doing here is we're breaking some new barriers in terms of list price for an enterprise class reader. Uh, the list price of this device is $1,399. This is Alien Technologies Enterprise POE Reader, the ALR F800. It has the same status LEDs as the 9900 Plus the power, the CPU, and the sniff and read lights, as well as antenna status lights. The network status lights are on the connector itself. It's a cast aluminum chassis, and it has, the heart of this reader is a two ARM 9 cores running at 667 megahertz, wrapped around uh, with a FPGA that is reconfigurable digital part of the radio. It has 4 gigabits of DDR3 RAM, as well as 16 gigabits of flash, and 128 gigabits of non-volatile RAM to store your tag list, even through power outages. As I stated before, this, the heart of this reader is two ARM9 cores with a field programmable gate array. This flexibility of having a digital portion of the radio allows the radio to be highly intelligent, optimizing itself to real-world performance based on monitoring conditions that are changing in the environment. It will adjust to these environmental changes, selecting between sensitivity and selectivity to give them optimal performance. It will maintain this optimal sensitivity even in the high reflective environments of many real-world applications. The ALR F800 has the four standard reverse TNC antenna ports. It's a monostatic design and the output power, regardless of whether you're under PoE power or DC power, will be greater than 31.5 dBm. One thing unique about the F800 is that it's designed specifically to have both PoE and 12 volt power plugged in at the same time. So it's not only tolerant, but encourages those two to be plugged in. The, the design intent is to have PoE as primary power, 12 volt as a backup power. If PoE power is lost, the reader will switch automatically and without interruption and no reset to the 12 volt backup power. Once PoE is restored, the reader will turn back to PoE power. The ALR F800 connector bank along the edge houses a gigabit Ethernet and PoE LAN connector integrated with LED status lights. 
The DC threaded locking connector, similar to what we have on our current PoE readers. A reset button that's recessed. This has two functions. One, it will, uh, if during power up, you press this for a brief period, it will cause the reader to reset. If you hold it for a longer period, it will cause the reader to go back to factory settings. However, in the unlikely event that the file system has been damaged, if you hold it and then power up the reader, the reader will go and look either on the SD microcard or the USB port for an image of the file system and will reload its own file system. In addition, we have, as I mentioned, a USB host connector intended for memory sticks, Wi-Fi dongles, cellular dongles, and the like, and a USB console, uh, which is the same functionality as a serial 9-pin uh, that you're used to in all of our other readers, with the exception that it can directly connect to your USB port, so it's a UART as well. And unique to the industry, we have a micro SD card for memory expansions uh, to uh, very large memory densities. Lastly, we've changed our I.O. connector strategy, still a Phoenix connector, but uh, instead of the screw terminals, they're push terminals. Uh, there also are two additional pins on this connector. We have routed the 12 volt power supply through the reader, through a fuse, to this connector, thus allowing you to actually use the DC power to power your own I.O. You will, of course, be sacrificing optical isolation, but that would allow you to have a single supply powering both the reader and 12-volt I.O. The ALR F800 was designed with ease of ownership in mind. The hallmark of Alien readers has always been our attention to backward compatibility. The ALR F800 will be 100% backward compatible to the ALR 9900 Plus. In addition, though, it will have enhanced features, including, most importantly, PoE. PoE will give you the ability to easily install with simply plugging in a single connector. The reader will be up and running. In addition, we have an eye for the mechanical part of ease of inst uh, installation as well. We have standard visa mounting, 100 millimeter spacing, M4 threaded inserts for this unit. So any standard visa mounting bracket will mount to this reader. As I said, this is 100% compatible to the 9900 Plus. So you'll, it'll have all the auto mode functions that you've come to use in your applications. In addition, we have enhanced the web interface. The Alien Actuate software will allow ease of installation, not requiring additional software to gather tags and characterize read zones, to listen and discover other readers, to configure and uh, load and design macros, applications, and other functionality It'll have two levels of security, both uh, user level and administration level. As I stated, it has it will support the Alien Reader protocol, and in the future, LLRP. It will be compatible with our SDKs, the .NET, Java, Ruby, etc. The F800 is provided in uh, three different versions or varieties. Uh, we provide it as a reader only, which is really intended for customers who have large installations and uh, really don't need additional cables because they already have a PoE infrastructure in place. We then have the reader kit, which uh, adds the PoE and a couple of cables, and that's normally what our customers would, would purchase. And then we have a Dev C, which is the full development kit. Uh, it's actually provided in a large black case, it includes the uh, antenna. It includes cables for the antenna, uh, SD cards, tags. Uh, also includes a PoE injector and a DC supply. Uh, so again, customers can get to experiment with uh, both power sources. The ALR F800, in summary, really is uh, the world's uh, uh, highest power PoE reader in the marketplace. Uh, 
has backup of uh, DC power supply, so you can swap between those and still provide that, uh, that power. Uh, we have this dynamic self-optimization capability that we call smart throttling, so it will provide the best performance regardless of your environment. And we also have a very extensible platform so that uh, uh, it can uh, evolve for your needs, depending on if you have to uh, incorporate a cellular modem or Wi-Fi, you can do that through USB and also add memory through an SD card slot.